my question to you is how can someone ever be bored? The potential for growth, learning and profit is endless. Opportunities are all around you. You just fail to grasp them, acknowledging them. You fail to see the depth behind certain things. And this is purely because you are wired and conditioned to get distracted, constantly thinking about the next task you have to accomplish. Internal dialogue, notifications and whatnot. When you are curious and let's say being present in the moment, not distracted by negativity or the distractions in your head, this opens up yourself to who you are becoming. You begin to notice the infinite experiences around you and you're not maintained by that fabricated dopamine that is triggered around you. And with that depth, with that knowledge, you actually begin to question things. You think these thoughts, they, they create this synapse, these chemicals that are released in your brain. And these chemicals, obviously, the good kind, lead to motivation. They lead to a purpose, potential mastery in your craft. The iceberg of opportunity, right? Do you realize how far that can take you? Can you see the significance of staying focused and not getting sidetracked by modern distractions like junk food, aimless scrolling on social media, drama, and any other external noise that you may have, any distractions, right? These distractions are stifling your innate childlike curiosity. And all in all, they hold you back from your full potential. So wake up. Curiosity as a key to mastery. When you cultivate curiosity, you step away from being distracted by the noise of everyday life. Whether that is news, whether that is social media, personal biases, anything around you that just triggers you to deviate from the path that you want to have. Instead, you immerse yourself in the present moment, which is what you have to do. So let's kind of trickle that to trading. In trading, your curiosity is peaked at the beginning of your journey. And many traders then deviate from the bigger picture. They don't look further than what is actually there. They don't see further than just the candlesticks that you have on your chart? Are you not curious what drives price movements? How do central banks influence the forex markets? Do you not question yourself that there's a lot more to it than just what you've got going on on your MetaTrader application, if you've even made it that far? Start questioning what you're doing rather than just following aimlessly these theories that you are getting, you know, shoved down your throat by these self-proclaimed gurus. You could ask yourself questions on global politics. I don't see enough people putting together the gist of what happens in the world to the outcomes that they see on the forex market. These are the type of questions that should spark these neural connections leading into that deeper understanding and eventually that in it curiosity where you will achieve potential mastery this goes for all fronts of let's say trading this goes for not only what you do on the market aspect of things but everything right when applied to personal development you will also achieve many more things makes you and forces you to question your personal beliefs, your personal habits, 
your thoughts, the patterns, and it helps you grow beyond your current limitations. The infinite potential that many traders fail to see between personal aspects of life and their trading aspects of life and combining those two in conjunction to achieve true mastery. Everything around you is a personal learning experience. Forex market, much like any other venture, holds layers of complexity. From basic technical indicators to macroeconomic trends, each piece can be viewed as an iceberg. But beyond understanding just the X and the Y axes, in this case, let's just say figuratively price and timing that you see on your graphs, on your actual X and Y axes, there's a whole depth to it, the, the Z axes, you could call it, which could be layers of psychology, strategy refinement, and even emotional discipline that many traders fail to see. So when you explore beyond the surface, you start to realize the interconnectedness of everything, not just trading, but also your personal growth as well. Life isn't just a series of events, but the intricate web of experiences that are all connected. Each lesson that you learn in the market mirrors lessons you can apply to your personal life. Discipline, patience, emotional regulation, and strategic thinking. So let's break it down into the four paths of mastery in trading and in life. Number one we have is appreciation. Don't rush through life or your trades. Appreciate the layers of complexity in each chart and each setup that you take. Every market movement holds a meaning and by staying present you get a deeper appreciation of what's happening. I noticed many of my own students at the beginning of their journey and many traders around me that just let things happen as they go. They take a trade and that's it. They don't self-reflect. They're not present in the moment and they don't really run that feedback loop upon themselves to see why are they taking certain actions within their trades. And with that being said, the key aspect here is the gratitude of each learning opportunity. And that is the key to growth. The second point is understanding. Dive deeper when something pulls you. Instead of becoming overwhelmed by trying to master everything at once, commit to truly understanding one element at a time whether it's a particular forex pair, a strategy, or an aspect of personal development. In-depth understanding trumps surface level knowledge. I see too many traders hop into a new strategy and try to, let's say, gain all the knowledge in one go. Instead of building the strategy and the elements brick by brick, just one step at a time, and really understanding how that step works as a whole prior to going to the next level. Third aspect is mastery. Once you have a broad understanding, refine your focus. Become a master of one strategy or more aspect of your life. So in Forex, that means becoming an expert in, let's say, your technical analysis and developing that specialized trading style in personal development, it might mean mastering your emotional reactions or cultivating discipline. The thing that I really noticed in my own journey when I went through this was the aspect of focusing on one key element at a time. Let's say these pillars that you have in your life. You understand the theory on your charts, but it is not backed by the actions that you take on a personal level. And that is where you can maybe miss the boat too quickly. Make sure you have everything equally leveled prior to boosting and adding a new brick to one of the pillars. 
Another step is obviously monetizing your gains and your knowledge. Once you've reached a level of mastery, you will start to obviously apply it to whatever aspect there is out there. Current day of this recording, it's a lot of proprietary funding. Monetizing or profiting obviously becomes the next natural step for you. Whether that is private capital or proprietary capital, it translates to becoming consistently profitable by leveraging that mastery that you have. In personal development, this might mean using your newfound skills to advance in your career or improve your relationships. In the process of mastery in Forex and life, before you transcend to your highest potential, you need to actualize yourself in practical ways. You can't just go straight to your end goal without understanding the steps required to get there. In trading, this could mean developing a consistent process and making enough gains to reinvest in your learning and practice. Seeking further development and more expertise mentors around you in order to fulfill that mastery. So let me break it down for you. A small step-by-step -step process I've done in my trading journey adapted for trading. It begins with curiosity. Be curious about the whole aspect of trading, like technical indicators or market psychology. This curiosity is the one that ignites potential. And what I recommend before going into any type of mentor or community is self-education. Dive into the wealth of information that is already available. Books, podcasts, courses, and then see whether or not you can study and adapt these strategies to a community or mentor that you want with the underlying mechanics around and revolving the Forex market. Obviously, the same step-by-step -step process I apply as well in my program is some real-world experience. Start with a demo account or small trades to just gain practical experience. Get used to executing on these platforms. How do you react when you execute on these platforms? Apply your knowledge. Don't be afraid to experiment. Each trade is an opportunity to learn if you see it like that. There are core skills that you have to learn. And it's a lot easier said than done. But there are essential skills in trading, such as risk management, technical, fundamental analysis, and emotional control. These are kind of like four evergreen skills that will always be valuable. I just throw them out there. It's self-explanatory, but these are going to be reoccurring in your knowledge. So it's helped me really the most and that has made me the most progress is by actually sharing my knowledge with others. I want to expand my reach and I want to get, let's say, a different point of view on the way that I trade. I have then created a community. I've shared my knowledge with others as well. And I actually did that for my own personal benefit to see whether or not there was let's say a conflict in the way that I was trading and the understanding of people from the outside. It is a way to deepen and solidify your current knowledge that you have. And it builds up a network that can lead to many different opportunities and create that bond during this lonely journey. And clearly last step, once you have this winning strategy or a trading plan, stick to it and understand that it is going to be stuck for a long time. Don't just be scared that if you have one bad month, a bad quartile, even a bad year, that you should jump from strategy. Stick to it, refine it consistently and persistently in your approach, you will lead to success. And most importantly is once you've understood that you will start scaling. And once you can scale, you will realize that you need a team around you. So taking on larger positions, diversifying your strategies to new markets or different currency pairs. Scaling is the most important part only after you've achieved the prior steps. Infinite journey of self-improvement, just like in trading and as in personal growth, you're never done learning. 
It's always a work in progress, an infinite work in progress. The market is constantly evolving much like yourself. The more you embrace curiosity and dive into the infinite layers of opportunity, the more you'll grow as a trader and an individual. And avoid getting distracted by surface level noise. Instead, focus on the depth of each moment, whether it's the complexity of a specific currency pair or a new personal challenge that you are facing. Being fully present and allowing and following your intuition to take control, you can unlock the infinite lessons that trading can give you. My question to you is how can someone ever be bored? The potential for growth, learning and profit is endless. And obviously, you know, if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you so much for giving me your undivided attention. And I really hope you had a blast listening to this somewhat more of a different format of video. At the end of the day, you know that if you can combine all these aspects together, you can attain self mastery. And on that note, that is something that I experienced as well in my journey, where I was in need of, let's say, people around me. I've understood the market, I've yielded the results, but I understood also that if I wanted to go further, I needed a team around me, whether that be, let's say, my mentees, or just how I see them as my peers, that is the true way to really make it a lot further in the space. And that is when you think of, let's say, not only one, two, three years of trading, but thinking more in decades, think long term in this industry. So if that is something that appeals to you, you can always send me a DM on Instagram to chat further to see what opportunities I could have for you if you want to take your trading to the next level.